Okay, this is RPM RPM with uh, TornadoFrames.com. Thought I'd show you a quick side by side of the Whirlwind 600 on your right and the Microburst 300 on your left. Uh, both A tailed frames. We're gonna do some flying today right now with the uh, with the 600. The 600 is running a four cell system with uh, 2212 1000 kV motors. Uh, I'm running the Tornado 30 amp ESCs and this has got a KK 2.1 board with Stevius 1.11 S2. Let's uh, read through some of the settings on the board as I open it up and we, uh, we get ready to go here. It's been a little while since I've flown this frame. Let's uh, read through for my memory and your sake of, uh, of what I've got set here. PI, I'm pretty good. I've got stick scaling numbers of stick scaling roll of 127, pitch of 122, and yaw of 100. Throttle is still stock at 90. Let's take a look at the MPU settings. MPU gyro is set at 2000. ACC is 8, and the filter is at 256 hertz. Um, PI, I've done a little bit of PI tuning. Not bad. Uh, P gain 240, I gain 120. Same thing, that was roll. Pitch is the same. Yaw is 220, and I gain is 200. So we got stick scaling numbers. The rest of it is, uh, I think, pretty basic. And uh, let's give it a flight. Let's see what it does. Like I said, it's been a been probably two weeks since I've flown this frame. So I'll, uh, I'll see how it handles. See how I handle it. Double check where my uh, self level is. Double check arming. Self level off. Self level on. Good. Let's uh, give this a shot here. So with version 1.11 S2, self-level is not as strong as it could be. I've got a pretty strong wind over my left shoulder. You can see that as the frame kind of fights it. Uh, also, I have done absolutely no tuning whatsoever of the ACC rates, the gains for that. So you can see a little bit of a twitch there with uh, ACC on. And now I'm going to switch to ACC off. And let's uh, start flopping this thing around. So the Whirlwind 600, one of the things I love is how axially and smooth, how big it'll fly. So there I'm flying into that wind. I'll play with that wind off to my left. Hopefully the camera is pretty framed. I love how smooth it is. This frame just feels so nice in here. So I've given up some of the self-leveling capabilities of the board by turning the gyro up to 2000. Um, none of the flying I've done here right now requires the gyro rate that high. I think beginner mode would very easily, the 1.12 beginner would very easily be able to handle all the flying I'm doing right here. And you would still then gain the excellent self-leveling self capabilities with, self, with ACC. Let's throw a couple multiples in here. So once again, this is flying a four cell system, eight inch jam fan props, 30 amp speed controllers, Simon K. Uh, we got 2212 motors that are 1000 kV and just some, just some basic acro. Just kind of haven't flown in a while, just get the feel for it, get the rhythm. Frame, the tail steps out just a touch. I still got to work on some numbers 
for the yaw gains and limits. Um, PIs are pretty stock and I want to go in and change some of the limits for yaw and start experimenting with those but those you run the risk of a control loop blew out, blowout and loss of control so I've been uh, kind of holding off on those just getting used to uh, 1.11 Going upwind, not full throttle, just kind of cruising. All right, let's start pushing the frame a little. Let's do some high speed stuff here. Into the wind. response to this frame so predictable I don't stick scaling I think I said it was what, about 126 122 somewhere around in there and uh, it's not super fast you know I'm comfortable doing multiples but it's not you know so fast that it becomes a blur it feels totally in control the whole time All right, feeling comfortable with it. Let's bring it in low and do some low close stuff. See it drifts to the right with the wind there a little bit and the, as I pitch it over. Do some low rolls. Now see, I had a, I had a tail blow out there. Yaw blew out on me. I still gotta work on that. With really low throttle and a, and a full yaw, I get the tail blowing out a little bit. That also might be the wind leaning on it pretty hard. Right feels really nice. So I've got something going on with where the left feels a little different. I'll have to go and check endpoints on my radio. And using the new uh, slider scale on the 2.1 board will help me look at those endpoints really quickly. So let's end it off with some quick uh, shoulder rolls here. Wind's picking up over my left shoulder. So I'll roll into that. It likes the shoulder rolls forward than it does rear. Pulling back in a shoulder roll tends to step out the tail a little bit. Forward in a shoulder roll. It's a little more comfortable. It clicks right around and tail holds true. Uh, this frame weighs in without battery, right at a thousand grams. Set it down. I got some low voltage alarms. I'm not sure how charged those packs were. So I was saying this frame without batteries is right at a thousand grams. Um, we found that a really wide range of batteries work really well. I like the 1100 kV or the 1000 to 1100 kV motors on four cell with eight inch gem fans. And we've had guys run up to four cell 5000 milliamp packs. You start to feel the weight at about 4000 or 5000. 5000, you definitely can feel a 4S5000 on it. Uh, I'm running right now some Zippy Compacts uh, four cell. Let's disconnect before I flip this thing over. Zippy Compacts 2735C. Um, I forget the amp draw on this system or the wattage on it. I need to redo all that kind of stuff. So that is the Tornado Frames Whirlwind 600 on a KK 2.1 with Stevius 1.11 S2. And uh, I've already disconnected it. We already went over the numbers. So stick scaling pretty reasonable. Um, like I said, all of that flight, I believe, could be done on 1.1 to beginner version just because nothing's really ramped up. I'm not throwing it around really fast, so that's it.